Going to Barnes and Noble. How many books are you getting? Two. And then I'm getting I know like. You're getting ten. We're not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Made it to Barnes and barely. Noble. Barely. <laughs> what do you mean barely? My driving is not that bad, sir. Do not insult my driving. <laughs> Mask up. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. About to go spend money that I don't need to be spending, but whatever. Noble. I'm excited. Are you? Very excited. I'm more excited, I think. Definitely. You're Let's go. So I found two books. I found A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and Shatter Me. Um, Aiden's looking in the science and technology section. There's so many books in this cart. I think I have like seven books in my cart. Aiden has two so far. One Lord of the Rings books and then, what was the other book, Dune? Dune. Second book in Dune, so. In the toy section. <laughs> I wanted to show them everything I got. I have one, two, three, four, five, six books so far. And I think there's two more I wanna get. Shadow and Bone and maybe part of the second Shatter Me series. I don't know though. I'm still looking. I'm conflicted. There's also so many people here and I feel really awkward just busting out the camera and aisles that people are in. Oh, I look like a disaster. Almost 40 bucks. What we got in there? You don't want to look. He just got his midterm grade back and he doesn't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. It's going to ruin my night. <laughs> no, it's not. I doubt you did bad. Do you want me to look at it? I'll look at it. What do you want to guess you got? I don't like that. What do you want to guess you got? 80. You got 100%! Whoa! <laughs> this boy thinks he does so bad in every freaking exam he gets, or does, uh, and he got a freaking... What did you think you did on it? Like, did you think you did that bad? No, it. I felt like I did well, but still, I had a sneaking suspicion I, I did You got a hundred. That is the magic of Barnes and Noble. <laughs> okay, so we just finished up at Barnes and Noble. Um, the total came out to be, well, okay, I bought our books together. I got a Barnes and Noble membership, but my total ended up being like a hundred some dollars. I think I got seven books, six, seven, seven. So, got a lot of books. Now we're gonna go eat and grocery shop as well. And then I will do a little book haul for you guys when we get back to the apartment. Aiden can do a book haul too if he wants. Two books. He got two books. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. We just finished grocery shopping and eating at Panera. Panera was good. We got the broccoli mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. And then we got Caesar with chicken salad. And then we got the broccoli cheddar soup. Pretty nice. We just dropped everything off. Oh, we got Red Bulls too. I'm excited to drink that. Not that I need any more caffeine. He's the one who has to deal with it. <laughs> We're gonna do the book haul when we get back. Do you think I needed to buy that many books? Definitely not. <laughs> We're back. Do you want to show them your book haul first since it's shorter? This and I don't know where the other one went. Dune. And Dune. That is a lot smaller. Okay. Are you ready for my book haul? Hi everybody. It's like a week and a half later now. The footage that I had for my original book haul was a little too short for me and my descriptions of the beautiful, magnificent books that I got were just not cutting it for me when I was editing it. So I'm gonna refilm it and give some more dialogue to it. <laughs> All right. Let's get into this book haul. First book that I picked up was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. The sequel actually just came out this month. I heard it was supposed to be really, really good. Um, most of the books I actually got today are recommended from Book Talk, and I'm gonna be doing a video sometime in the future on my channel. You know, Book Talk recommendations, are they worth the hype? I'm really, really hoping this lives up to the Book Talk hype because it sounded so good when I saw the videos about it and when I read reviews about it. Another Thing I really really like about it is it seems like a really really fast read. It's only 387 pages long so this is definitely a book that you could read in one or two sittings. Personally I could read it in one sitting because I'm a fiend. Anyways moving on. 
The next book I got was Shatter Me. Got the first book in the Shatter Me series. I heard this book is supposed to be so, so freaking good and spicy. So if you are up that alley of, you know, spice and romance and enemies to lovers, this one is a good one. So I've heard from Book Talk. I've also seen a lot that this is comparable to the trope of if you touch her, I'll kill you type trope. I'm really, really excited. I was looking up the fan art for the main guy character in this book. Chef's kiss. Let me just tell you. I'm going to put up a fan art of the, what I'm talking about, but chef's kiss. Overall, I'm really, really excited for this book. The next book I got, I actually debated getting this one for a while. It kind of reminded me of like Disney Princess Ariel, but like darker. The trope for this one is I was supposed to kill you, but I ended up falling in love with you. Um, at least that's what I've been seeing from Book Talk. Again, debated getting this one for a very, very long time, but I ended up purchasing it and I'm really, really happy I did because it's quite honestly a fast read. Again, haven't read it, but it looks like a fast read i don't know just the definition of like what the book is about just sounds so interesting and i'm really really excited to read it all right the next book i got is also i feel like gonna be a fast read because again it's kind of short but um i always feel like the short books are always super captivating to me like don't get me wrong i love series but standalones always have my heart i don't know why anyways this is not a standalone i think this is a series but i'm pretty sure you can read them as standalones correct me if i'm wrong stalking jack the ripper when i first walked into barnes and noble i was like i'm gonna get this book i'm gonna get this book and then i read the back and i was a little thrown off by it basically on the back it says he murdered women in cold blood he terrorized an entire city he taunted those of us who hunted him down but despite all these horrors in the end i could not deny i was the girl who loved the ripper when i first read the back of it i was like "Ooh, i don't really want to romanticize a literal fucking psychopath serial killer but i heard a lot of really good reviews about it on book talk again so i was like all right you know what we'll go for it if i don't like it oh well 10 bucks whatever and i can easily easily donate it or give it to a friend i'm really really hoping it's really really good and i don't know i think having a spin on like true crime would be a little interesting so excited very excited next book i'm pretty excited about reading this book i did not get the entire series because i wanted to read the first one first to see if i liked it but then i found out that they're making it into a series on netflix and so i'm going back this weekend to get the entire season <laughs> i got shadow and bone i only got the first one on the trip that you saw in this video and i'm gonna get the other four books there's two books in the trilogy two other books in the trilogy i haven't gotten and then there's a duel called six of crows and i heard it was really really good i've been seeing it all over book talk the trailer for the like show on netflix that's coming out april 23rd by the way it looks really really good i wanted to read the entire series before i saw the show on netflix so i am biting the bullet and i'm buying the entire season i'm hoping i'll like it my friend ryan read i think half of this book but his printed version was kind of screwed up he said the first half of it was pretty pretty good so i'm really excited about this i've been seeing so much fan art on it enough of shadow and bone talk all right next book i got was the shadows between us one of the things that sold me on getting this book was actually one of the reviews on the back by actually the author of stalking jack the ripper basically the author says the shadows between us is my favorite kind of fantasy dark memorizing and completely addictive with a gripping mystery and layering characters it is a glittering tale of love and pursuit of power put simply it's the slytherin romance we've all been waiting for that's what me on it <laughs> if you guys know anything about me um i'm really really obsessed with harry potter i'm currently reading all the books i've gone through the first two i've taken a little break because i want to read some other books i can just picture in my head like what this book is going to be like and what it's going to be about and i am so so excited to read this one pretty sure i'm going to read this this month in March. So yeah, I'm just really, really excited to read this one. Basically, this girl is wanting to take his kingdom and kill him, but along the way, she's basically trying to keep him alive from other people who want to kill him, and she ends up falling in love with him. The whole story. So basically, it's like an enemies to lover kind of trope, and I'm so excited to read this one. All right. Anyways, that's this book. I went on a whole tangent, but 
the last book I got. I got Crescent City House of Earth and Blood. I have just recently learned that Sarah J Mass as an author is kind of problematic. I'm not going to go into detail in this video why but I can assure you you can find books on TikTok, YouTube of you know like why she's problematic, why some of her readings are problematic. Uh, yeah I just wanted to put that out there. However I did hear that Crescent City was really really good. When I was reading what it's about it sounded so up my alley um there is a love interest in this book and it is described as a enemies to lover type of thing i think i heard it was supposed to be really really good from tiktok have not yet been disappointed i'm waiting for the day i get disappointed by book talk so i got this one I'm really excited to read it. It is gonna take me, I feel like, a hot second to get through it. Anyways, that is my whole book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, I'm sorry for this video kind of being short and kind of choppy. Um, when we were inside Barnes & Noble, there were so many people there. There were also workers kind of just putting books on the shelves and I didn't want to like get in their way and like record and all that kind of stuff like in the aisles. They had to do their work. I don't want to disrupt work for my video so sorry if this video is kind of short i'm hoping to do more book vlogs and hauls in the future and definitely more book reviews book recommendations but uh yeah i definitely want to do more book related videos in the future on my channel because it's definitely something i like and i feel like it's gonna help me be more connected with my youtube channel if i talk about stuff that i like really want to talk about so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh yeah, I will see you guys all next week. Bye, guys. Say bye, bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that. Always had my own bag, never needed no man to rely on. Got two good shoulders to cry on.